Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on cycles and cycle theorem. Uh, it's a high tier IGCSE question, and therefore suitable for, should be okay for GCSE uh, high tier and for 10th grade math te or 10th grade geometry. Now, this is the 10th in my series on cycles and cycle theorem. Okay, now here's a question. Uh, typical uh, IGCSE high tier cycle theorem diagram um, is looks a bit jumbled up there. So if we take it step by step, it should be uh, easy to crack. Right, now here we go. Uh, ABC and ADE are straight lines. So there we are, ABC and ADE are straight lines there. And CE, this line here, is the diameter for this circle there. And then it goes on to say that the angle DCE, this one here, is X degrees. And the angle BCE, this BCD, this one here, is 2X degrees. And that the line FEG is a tangent to both circles. It then says, find in terms of X, the angle ABD the angle DBE and the angle BAD. So what I've done is to, I've called this angle there Z to make life easy for myself there. Okay, now for the first one, if I, that's the diameter, and therefore diameter sub 10 angles of 90 degrees at the circumference. So that angle there should be 90 degrees. Okay, so that's 90 degrees there. Now, if that's 90 degrees there, and angles in the triangle at the one angles in the triangle at the 180 degrees. So this angle has got to be 90 minus x degrees. So that's what we go there. Okay. Now we consider this uh, cyclic quadrilateral B C E D. That's B C E D. Okay. Now if we call this angle Y there makes life so, so much easier for myself there. Now, the opposite angles of a, in, of a cyclic quadrilateral or in a, cycle, in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. So, if we call that Y there, uh, it then means that 90 minus X plus Y will give us 180 degrees. Okay. Similarly, because ABC is a straight line, we're given there, these two angles, Z plus Y, will give us 180 degrees as well. So it then means that 90 minus X plus Y is equal to Z plus Y because they're both 180 degrees. If we then subtract Y from uh, both sides, uh, the Y's cancel out. So we have that Z is equal to 90 minus X degrees. Uh, I know we're not asked to find Y but were we to find y, y is going to be 180 minus 90 minus x degrees, and that's 90 plus x degrees. And if you add both, this one and that one, you should get 180 degrees. Now, for the second section now, we need to draw the line BE, and that's what we go there. Now, we're supposed to find this angle there. Okay? Right. Now, this chord subsets the angle x degrees at the point C at the circumference. Now the same chord subsets this angle there. Yes? So the same chord would therefore subtend the angle of x degrees there as well. So that angle is x degrees. So now angle DBE is x degrees as we are supposed to find. Okay? Now moving on, we want to find this angle BAD there. Okay, so we need to consider this triangle, this triangle A, D, C, this triangle there, A, D, C, okay? Right, we know that that's 90 degrees there, because that's a straight line we told there. So that's 90, so that also must be 90 degrees there. Okay, so that's 90 degrees, that's 90 degrees there. So. If that's 90 degrees and that's 2x, so those two must add up to 90 degrees. So this angle, BAD, has got to be 90 minus 2x degrees. And that's what we got there. So angle A is going to be 180 minus 90 plus 2x degrees. And that's 90 minus 2x degrees. And that's what we got there. 
I hope all that made some sense. Um, please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.